good morning students today we are going to discuss nature of the roots already i explained in the previous class for example we had observed ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 this is the quadratic equation the quadratic equation the formula type we have to find the x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a first root is the plus second root is the minus so this is the we have to got the from the quadratic equation the nature of roots depend on the b square minus 4ac the nature of roots depend on the b square minus 4ac so look at the word b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 and was the value greater than 0 means positive values so suppose we have to take the 2x square x square plus 2x plus 1 they get this one so b square minus 4ac means b means 2 minus 4 into 1 into 1 2 square means 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 so b square minus 4 equal to 0 two equal roots rendu equal ga unsi roots greater than 0 is the two distinct less than 0 is the no real roots so this is the conditions of the discriminant so it is called the discriminant v square minus 4 ac is the discriminant now find the he gave find the nature of roots x is 5.4 problem number 1 uh, 1 page number 123 find the nature of roots nature of roots if you want to find the nature of roots means you find b square minus 4ac then you have to compare ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so first problem a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 5 then you, these values you have to substitute in this equation b means minus 3 whole square minus 4 into a means 2 into minus 3 9 minus 3 whole square means plus 9 minus into minus plus 4 2 is 8 8 3 is 24 that is equal to 33 is greater than 0 so greater than 0 means two distinct values we will get the two distinct values okay first problem is over you have to write here yes. two distinct uh, into two distinct set last set okay next second problem you will go to discuss the second problem this is the nature what is the a b c so a is equal to 3 b is equal to minus 4 root 3 c is equal to 4 then you write the b square minus 4 ac b means what minus 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 into a means 3 c means 4 minus 4, 4 means 6 to 16 root 3 means 3 4 these are 12 are 48 to be into this one also 48 minus 48 this values are goes to zero. This one also, this is the two equal roots. B square minus 4ac is equal to zero. Then two equal roots. Okay. This is the second problem. And next one. Find k if roots are equal. Roots equal ga unte dim to value than kovali. Roots equal to two equal roots means b square minus 4 ac already they gave zero. So first we have to take the problem 2x square plus kx plus 3. This is equal to zero. How is it? This is the quadratic equation. ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. a is equal to 2 and b is equal to k and c is equal to 3 only 3 not minus 3 so then b square minus 4ac equal to 0 when if the equal roots are they said equal if the equal 
roots. B square minus 4ac is equal to 0. B means how much? B means k. k square minus 4 into a means 2 into c3. k square minus is equal to 0, right? 4 2s are 8, 8 3s are 24. k square minus is equal to 0, k square is equal to 24. k is equal to root 24 plus or minus. We have to write this one 4 into 6. 4 means 2 root 6 plus or minus. So k is equal to 2 root 6. Okay students. So next one. Next problem. This one. Kx of x minus 2 plus 6 is equal to 0. Then you have to change into the quadratic equation first. Kx into x. Kx squared. Minus kx into 2, 2kx plus 6 is equal to 0. So this becomes like quadratic equation. So a is equal to k, b is equal to minus 2k, c is equal to 6. Okay students, here we have to say equal roots means b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. b means what? Minus 2k whole square. Minus 4 into A means K into C means 6 equal to 0. 4K square, 2K whole square, 2K into 2K plus 4K square. 4K. One minute. 4, 6 are 24. 24 K equal to 0. Then you have to do the, the 4K is the common factor. 4K is common k remaining here 6 remaining equal to 0 so 4k equal to 0 k is equal to 0 by 4 that is equal to 0 k minus 6 is equal to 0 k is equal to 6 so 6 comma 0 is zero. sorry k is the 0 and 6 okay students this is the nature of roots is over tomorrow class we will discuss the some more bits in the shortcut Okay, see you tomorrow class.